Hello and welcome to video number two of the Site Lighting Tutorial. We'll begin this video with step number three, define the luminaire arrangements. A luminaire definition references a specific photometric file as well as a symbolic representation of the luminaire, light loss factors, arrangements, and more. Each location in the project will access these parameters in addition to the aiming parameters specified by the user. For this tutorial, we'll create two luminaire definitions based on a single photometric file, a single luminaire on a pole, and a back-to-back -back arrangement. From within the luminaire toolkit, click on the Define button. We will select the photometric files for the tutorial from the Zlux demonstration database that's included in the AGI32 Instabase system. We'll use the new Cloud Instabase system. The Instabase system provides access to many of the lighting industry's most prominent manufacturers. For our purposes in this tutorial, we'll just use the Zlux sample data. To retrieve the Zlux sample database from the Instabase in the cloud, click the Select Manufacturers link. Now scroll down through the list of manufacturers to the bottom, put a check mark in the Zlux Instabase. Click the OK link. The Cloud Instabase is most powerful when searching across multiple databases. However, we can easily just browse the small Zlux database to find what we need. Let's close the indoor node, and then open the ZL area node. Scrolling down, we'll find ZL Road LED 150.IES. Place a check mark in the box. Continue to scroll down. To find the download link. Go ahead and click. With the photometric file downloaded, AGI32 will open the Smart Symbols dialog where it tries to pick an appropriate symbol based on the luminous dimensions in the IES file. From the left column, select Pole Mounted. Now click OK to accept the remaining defaults. We can now complete the luminaire definition. Notice the label and description are already completed per the defaults selected. Those defaults are set from this dialog. The file name is used for the default label and the default description is pulled from the luminaire catalog number in the IES keyword LUMCAT. These can be changed to your preferences. Let's look around and make a couple of changes. Change the light loss factor to 0.9 total. Change the arm length to 2 feet. The current setting was just the minimum distance required to move the light center of the symbol away from the pole. The arm length specifies the distance from the pole to the luminous center of the symbol. Notice the pole is set at dynamic and attached to z equals zero. This attaches the base of the pole to the ground regardless of the mounting heights employed in the project. Click in the color cell next to the model mode symbol. Model mode color cell. With the color palette window open, change the color to red and click OK. Note that we have changed the color of the model symbol and not the render symbol. The render symbol remains black housing color. Because we are using only the direct calculation mode, we will not be rendering. The render mode symbol is not employed. To complete the definition, click on the Add Redefine button. Because the program was set to auto-define when we pulled the photometric file from the Instabase, it asks us if we want to redefine. Simply click Yes. We now have a single luminaire defined, but we will need a back-to-back -back arrangement as well. AGI32 gives us the ability to set this up in the definition process so you can place this arrangement as an assembly in the project, rather than as two individual luminaires. We can easily use the current single luminaire definition to create another definition with two luminaires back to back. All of the other parameters, the photometric file, the symbol, the model mode color, and the arm length could remain the same. Simply append the characters-2BB to the label. This tells the program that we've actually changed the label and now we're going to create a separate luminaire definition. Append to the description two luminaires back to back. Now click in the arrangement cell. 
From the arrangements listed, click on the back to back arrangement. Click OK. Now let's change the model mode symbol color to blue. This allows us to easily differentiate one from the other. Click on the Add Redefine button. Notice we now have two definitions listed. We're now ready to design the parking lot lighting. Close the Luminaire Define dialog. 